Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you 8 different fall builds you can add to your world. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe because it means a lot to me. Now, first of all, this world is looking not at all like the season of fall, so let's change that. There we go, that is much better and much more in season. So without further ado, let's make some fall builds. The first little build we're going to make today is a pumpkin patch. And what we're going to need for that is some pumpkins, some sea pickles, some spruce fences, some pistons, a carved pumpkin, a grass block, an armistice, and a redstone torch. These are all items that'll depend on how big your pumpkin farm is going to be. And then 10 and a site wall, that is for our entrance, so that doesn't really depend on anything. First, we can make our little entrance, which is just going to be one, two, three, four up. And then one, two, three, four, and then two across. So that'll make our little entryway. Then I'm just gonna take the spruce fences and just make random little paths all around. Um, the more random, the better it'll look. Oh. And we'll just add like really random fences. I'm gonna make mine a little big. And obviously, as you can see, it's just, okay, really random. And we'll bring it around, actually, we won't that one. We'll bring it all around here, all the way to our entrance. So that's what it's gonna look like. Then we're, we can just use our pumpkins. We can place those all around randomly. I like to just have a lot of pumpkins in mine. I think it looks a lot better. And then this, I love this look. I think this looks so cool to have the little sea pick on top of the stem. I think it just looks so much more realistic. And then something I really like to do is I like to add mini pumpkins. So you wanna make sure that it's facing away from your entrance and you're gonna break two blocks, or actually you're gonna break one block. And we're actually gonna need snow as well. Forgot about that one. Um, and then we can just place our snow randomly until it fits just how we want it. And we can add our little pumpkin. You want it to be facing away, obviously, so that the face isn't showing. Then you can just use your piston, put a little grass block there, and activate it so that it goes into it. And then put our grass blocks back down. And you have a little mini pumpkin. Now, as you can see, I did add a few more little pumpkins, but I like this as it is. You could add as many or as few as you want, but this is our finished pumpkin patch. So the next thing we're gonna make is a little wheelbarrow to go with our pumpkin patch. What we're gonna need for that is five spruce signs, one spruce fence gate, four spruce slabs, two oak trapdoors. So I'm gonna probably make this maybe next to our pumpkin patch. I think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna do two up. We're gonna have a block there and then our slab, but we wanna break that. And then we're just gonna go up down one to place it so that it's a slab off the ground. So let's get some grass to replace that. And you're gonna do that twice. So that's four of our slabs, just one slab off the ground. Then we're gonna use our signs and we're just gonna go all the way around the top slab with these signs except for right here here we're gonna place our fence gate or sorry should be on the lower one then on the lower slab on the back we're gonna place our two oak trap doors so that we get this wonderful little wheelbarrow the next thing we're gonna make is a pumpkin maze as you can see with the one behind me this is in my survival world and this is what it looks like all finished. This is a little bird's eye view for you guys. And this is the template for you guys. I didn't want to show you how to build it step by step because honestly, it's a lot of blocks and it's just a lot of different like things that you have to do. But I tried to make a checker pattern so that you could see it and try to copy it. This is going to be a 37 by 34 and all of this will be filled in the entire square will be filled in except for inside the pumpkin 
so the outside of the pumpkin is going to be filled i just didn't fill it so that you could see the actual pumpkin shape i would suggest building this up three blocks you can also check my the previous clip for the actual maze i built in my world for reference if what i'm saying isn't making a ton of sense now the pink line is where is the um entrance to the exit that is how to beat the maze so where the pink line starts and ends there's actually going to be a hole there leading all the way out of the maze you can decide how to make that for yourself if you would like i just did it straight um coming out from where the pink is the next thing we're going to make is an apple tree so what we're going to need for that is one apple and also an invisible item frame so the command for that is this i will also put this in the in the description for you to copy um but if you want to read that there we're just giving our item frame an invisibility so this is what it looks like it looks like a regular item frame but then it's invisible and you just can put this on your tree with this texture pack i like to use the oak tree i think it looks really cool um i think though in real life they have green leaves in this texture pack there is green leaves it's jungle or acacia azalea or spruce you can use any of those i think the red leaves look absolutely amazing though just so adorable you can put some on top on the ground i love that feature um put one on the side there we'll just put them all around our tree and there we have it that is our finished apple tree i think this looks so cute and I think it'd be a really cute addition to your world, especially if you did a whole orchard of these. The next thing we're going to be making is a pumpkin banner. What we're going to need for that is six orange wool, one stick, one brown dye, one orange dye, and one lime dye. First, we'll make our orange banner like that. Then we are going to give our banner a brown gradient coming from the top like that. Then we're gonna give our banner some orange stripes, like this. And finally, we're gonna give our banner a green stem or an inverted border at the top. And that is our finished pumpkin banner. I think this will be super cute in your world, on your house maybe, as a little decoration. I'd love to see what you guys do with this. The next thing we're gonna make is a little pickup truck to store your pumpkins in. So what we're going to need for this is 12 spruce planks, 9 spruce slabs, 16 spruce signs, 5 light gray panes, 3 iron pressure plates, 4 glow item frames, 3 ladders, 20 smooth stone slabs, 1 dark oak sign, 4 blocks of coal, 4 stone buttons, 6 pumpkins, and 6 dark oak trap doors. So first, we are going to put our wheels down. We're just going to do these two. Then from the front two, you're going to go one, two, three back. And then on the fourth one. So there's three in between. And then, of course, two on that side too. I'm going to break this just so we have more room. Um, then next, we can put our buttons on all of our wheels. Of course, so they look more realistic. Then we are going to use our 20 smooth stone slabs to just make a perimeter around. So this is what it's going to look like. And then we can fill that in as well. So that's what it looks like from the top. This is going to be the front and that is the back. So put that away. Then next we are going to take our planks and we're just going to make a perimeter all around that like this so that's what it looks like right now then we are going oh sorry we need one more block right there um then we are going to put our pressure plates on the front right there then we can give our front a detailing and also our back they have their headlights and then our front needs a ladder and our back needs a sign oops that's... yeah you can also put a license plate on there if you want um and then 
we are just going to take our panes and put five like that for a windshield and then nine slabs going like this so that's what it's gonna look like um i think you're actually gonna need more than just 12 planks okay so you're actually gonna need 21 i just messed the two numbers up switch them uh my bad so sorry about that guys but anyway um you're gonna take your signs and you're just gonna go one all the way around so all the way around here and then also on this side like that just giving it a little more texture then we can take our pumpkins and we're just going to do one two and then we're going to do one two three four five so that's what it's going to look like um and then we are going to just add our trap doors all the way around like so and if you really want you can add a spruce door uh totally up to you but i think it looks nice like that and that is our finished pickup truck i think it's so adorable um yeah it's just the store your pumpkins and obviously with the pumpkin patch wheelbarrow and the pickup truck going away from the pumpkin patch it's just so adorable Next, we're going to be building a hayride because when I think of fall, I think of hayrides at the apple orchard. I think it's so lovely. So that's what we're going to build. So for that, we're going to need 40 acacia trap doors, 12 cobblestone stairs, two stonework stairs, 24 red wool. You can also change the color of this wool if you would like. 16 blocks of coal, two cobblestone, six cobblestone slabs, two stone bricks, one spruce fence, 16 hay bales, 28 spruce slabs, 12 stone buttons, two oak buttons, four oak signs, and two ladders. That is a lot, but it'll look amazing. So first we're gonna build our wheels. It is two by two wheel. And then two away from that, we're gonna build the back wheel. And then our other wheels are gonna be two blocks away from that. So one, two, and then them. So two in the middle. And of course, across from it as well. So then we can take our stone buttons and we're just going to make our little wheel decorations by going like this and the same on this side as well. So that's our little wheel. Then we can make our the start of our tractor. So what we're going to do is just build a 2x3x2 two by by two red wool right there. And then we can take our cobblestone stairs and we're just gonna go like this on our tractor. And then we also want to take oh, some iron bars, forgot about that, and put them right there. Like that, it's a little front of the tractor. Then we are going to take our oak buttons and we're just gonna put them on either side of the tractor, just as the little headlight things. Then we're gonna take our spruce fence and we're gonna put that right there, like so. Then we are going to take our slabs. We're gonna put one on the bottom of this block and then one on the top of the bottom block on this one. Then we can take our cobblestone and we're gonna put one here. We are gonna do the exact same on this side. So on one on the bottom and one on the top, we're just mirroring it. And then one cobblestone, like that. And we're going to take our cobblestone stairs. We're going to put one here and one here facing into that. And then we're going to put an upside down stair and an upside down stair. And then we're going to have another upside down stair turning this way so that the entire thing turns. So we have a little space in between there. And it looks like the will go well. Which I think is very, very cute. Then we are going to give, put upside down stairs coming off of the back of the wheels with right side up stairs coming also coming off the back of the wheels. And then right on the second one, we are going to have a slab and then another slab. So that's what it looks like currently. Then we are going to take our red wool again. We're just gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. That is what it looks like right now. 
Then we are going to take our stone brick stairs. We're gonna put one on this side, one on this side. We're gonna take our stone bricks and we're just gonna put them down right here. Then we are going to add our ladders just to each side and then our signs going all the way across the back like this so that our tractor is officially done. Now we are going to make the actual hayride part. So we're gonna put two slabs under our back wall and then again like this and then we're gonna come out one and then we're gonna put coal there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, seven across, and then just right before the end one, we're gonna put our other wheel. And this is going to be four across. So it is going to end up being a seven by four. Oops. One, two, three. And then our wheel again, another wheel. And then we're going to take our buttons again and we're just going to put them on all of our wheels. Perfect. Now we're going to fill the rest in with our stone slabs. Oops. So that is like the bottom part. Now we want to put our hay bales all around the edges like this. but not on these two blocks. That's where our, like, that's where you get in the hay bale. Now we can take our acacia trap doors and we're just gonna put them all along the hay bales. And then we can put them all up. So that is what it looks like right now. Then we're going to do a second layer of trapdoors on the same, like this. So we're gonna do it on the same layer so that they're clear. Except for this back row, which we have to do one in because of the signs. So you're just gonna go from the inside and just put them in like this. So all the other sides will have it smooth like this, except for this side. So that is the finished hayride. Of course, we have the tractor and we have the actual hayride. Uh, I would love to see this in one of your orchards or even just going with the pumpkin patch. I still think it's really cute. So yeah. The final thing we're going to make today is a scarecrow. What we're going to need for that is one hay bale, one green manor, one spruce fence, two spruce fence gates, one spruce slab, four spruce trap doors, and one carved pumpkin. We're going to put this in our pumpkin patch, even though you probably do not need it in a pumpkin patch. Um, let's, I'm going to take this pumpkin out and we'll put our fence down, then we'll put our hay bale. We're going to hang our green banners off of the back of that. Then we can put our gates coming out of it. Then our carved pumpkin on top with the spruce trap door and all of the trapdoors coming off of it. Sorry, I was a trapdoor when I meant slap for this, of course. And that is our finished scarecrow. I think this looks super cute, and also I think it really goes with all of the colors. I think it's beautiful. So yeah, those are all of the builds I have for today. I think this looks amazing, you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you stayed till the end, please make sure to subscribe and like. I love you guys so much. Goodbye.